What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Paid to Drive. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day. I got a $43 payout catering order earlier. What brought my day up to $88, notifications turned on. Turn that little notification bell on so you get all my videos sent straight to your phone or whatever kind of device you have. So with that being said, let's see if we can get 25 thumbs up. We already got two likes. All we need is 23 more. Anyway, so what I'm going to explain in this video is the God's honest truth, and I'm talking about that specifically from the area that I work in. I work in the New York City suburbs, so not in New York City, in the New York City suburbs. If you want to try and make $1,000 a week with Uber Eats, I'm going to just tell you right now, $1,000 a week with just Uber Eats alone is a hell of a challenge. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, the way I do my delivering and stuff, because I'm a delivery driver full time at the current moment, and I make every week, I would say anywhere from seven to $800 without really killing myself. But if you wanna make $1,000 a week, you have to bust your freaking ass. And that is the absolute only way I can really put it. You have to make sure you are working all the boost hours, all the promotions that they have running, make sure you're doing that. Because unlike Grubhub, Uber Eats will also give you uh, you know, the, the boost times from 11 in the morning till two for the lunch rush, and then the dinner rush from six till 9 p.m. Um, and then you also need to check under your earnings tab uh, under promotions. Like there, there might be a thing where it's like uh, deliver eight, deliveries from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. and make an additional 10 to 15 dollars and stuff. You have to make sure you're hitting all of those promotions and you got to also pray and hope that people are tipping you on the app. You know, a lot of people don't do it. It's a real pain in the ass. But um, I would not recommend, uh, uh, what's up Oscar, true, but I did it two weeks in a row before Thanksgiving. Oh, you did? You did a thousand dollars in a week? Well, I'm not saying it's impossible. What's up, General Zombie? Can everybody hit that like button? I'd greatly appreciate it. We got eight people here. We only got two likes. Let's see if we can get that up there. We need six more likes. But anyway, um, and and you're really gonna have to work every day. I'm, I'm, I'm not, and when I mean every day, I don't mean Monday through Saturday. I'm talking about Monday through Sunday. I mean, to quote the Beatles, you gotta work eight days a week to be making that kind of money. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. We're at eight likes with nine people. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Keep the likes coming and keep the subscribers coming. Uh, between group Grubhub and Uber Eats, you made 1100 and 1200 Oh, yeah, it's doable. How much did you work, Oscar? That's the question. How much time did you spend? You know, but also you got another thing to keep in mind is that the market constantly changes. Um, you know, week to week, day to day, depending on the weather, depending on holidays. There's so many factors uh, involved. And, you know, there are some weeks where you could absolutely kill it. Then you go to the next week and, you know, you're barely getting by. Uber was 860 and, um, and 970. Uh, okay, respectfully. Not bad. Um, but yeah, guys, you really, you really, yeah, that is pretty hardcore, Oscar. But I will tell you right now, make sure you are working your, during the, uh, your market is open from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I could theoretically work 15 hours a day. I'm a college student though, so I work 40 to 50 hours a week. The fact that you're a college student and you're working 40 to 50 hours a week is amazing in itself. And if you can keep that up and keep your grades up, all the power to you, man. I don't know if I could have done that. Um, but with that being said, guys, it's it's real. There are many, many factors that go into it. It is not impossible. Um, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I've been working pretty much seven days a week since June fifth or sixth of this year, um, with Thanksgiving off uh, and maybe like Labor Day or whatever. But Fourth of July, I worked half a day. You know, and, and unless I was really, really sick. No, actually, I shouldn't say that because I still worked when I was sick. Um, cool, cooler weather does help. I agree. I, last night was very, very busy with Grubhub. Um, actually, yesterday I worked about eight and a half hours and I made $130 between Grubhub and Uber Eats. That was pretty good. Um, but yeah. Hey, we had eight likes and now we're down to seven likes. What happened? Somebody turned their like into a dislike or someone took back their like. That's not nice. But anyways, guys, without rambling on and repeating myself over and over again, 
Um, Uber Eats is a fantastic service. Wow, people are taking away their likes? What the hell's going on here? Um, anyway, Uber Eats is a fantastic service. I love their interface. I love um, how you can track the driver and everything like that. It's really, really amazing. And um, that's really all there is to it. Um, so with that being said, guys, you're really going to just have to work your ass off to make that kind of money, you know? Um, and like I said, make sure you are working the boost times, the 11, the 11 to 2 and then the 6 to 9. Uh, and try and get those promotions done as best as possible. I know um, a girl who does the delivery stuff like I do, and she devoted an entire weekend, I believe, to doing... Uh, I do have an email address, Oscar, and I, I can give that to you. Actually, if you guys follow me on Twitter, that's probably the best way to, to, to follow, to, you know, to uh, contact me. Twitter.com slash Pete on Blast. Link is in the description down below. That's the best way to contact me. Uh, or on Facebook. Uh, just, if you go on Facebook, search Pete Makes Videos and add me on Facebook if you have any questions. Um, so, anyway, that's that's really all there is to it, guys. And, uh, you know, Uber Eats, uh, they really need to do something about the, um, <laughs> what do you call it? They gotta do something about the tipping situation because the tipping is just it's bad. It's a bad situation because you can't even tip before like Grubhub. And then after the, the order is done, they send you a notification. They're like, Hey, do you want to rate your order? That's what they say first. They don't say like, Hey, you could leave a tip for your driver now. You know? Ah, gotcha. You're not old enough. Nah, I didn't pause it. Oscar. I did not pause it. Uh, maybe my signal is just crappy right now. Guys, we uh, can we get five more likes on this video? We had ten people watching. Can we everybody hit that thumbs up button? I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so at the end of the day, if you really want to make that money, you have to put in the time, you know. And unfortunately, the the bad thing about um, doing you know the courier service is just mainly for the fact that you're at the mercy of the public as they call it like you're at the mercy of everyone who's ordering food you know yeah it, it is what it is general zombie it is what it is um but yeah that's the problem like even with grubhub um and, and you want to know the crazy thing is grubhub has less of a reputation at least in my area than uber eats like people like whenever i tell them like oh yeah i, I deliver with grubhub they're like oh what's that is that like uber eats like i always hear people saying that oh is that like uber eats and i think really the mainly the reason why uber eats is in in theory more popular is because you know you got giant companies like mcdonald's promoting the hell out of uber eats i mean McDonald's is like the face of fast food, you know what I mean? So really when it comes down to it, it's all about how much you're going to put into um, doing these jobs, you know? Uh, you're in the LA suburbs and you work throughout LA. Everyone knows about Uber Eats and only like 10 to 20% of the people know about Grubhub. Yeah, exactly. I, I kind of wish that, that Uber Eats also offered like scheduled blocks or something, but they would never do it. Because uh, Uber has a reputation for not needing tips from the car service. Couple that with hiding the tip ability, it's going to get harder to get tips. I agree. I agree. What's up, Larry Tucker? But yeah, that's that's basically everything in a nutshell. Uh, to make $1,000 a week with Uber Eats is doable. It's very doable. But the question is, do you want to put in the time? Do you want to put in the work in order to do it? It's all up to you. Um, I know with me, I've had a scale back on how much I've been working because I literally work seven days a week. Um, I actually just went over my finances literally last night because I'm re-upping my health insurance um, and they needed a three-month span of my income and I went through it and I just saw that like I'm barely breaking even. Some months I'm even negative by like a few hundred bucks Just be, and, and I'm working a good amount, <laughs> you know? Um, so with that being said... 
Uh, that's just what it comes down to. All right, so I hope you found this a little bit helpful. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notifications on. And are all of you guys subscribed to my vlog channel yet? Uh, PTD Vlogs, I'm on day number 21. I think I'm there. I've been vlogging for 21 days since then. Uh, there's a link in the description to go subscribe over there. Uh, how much do you make most days from Grubhub? I'm averaging, yeah, 80 to 100 if I don't really kill myself. But if I'm working like all heavy during dinner rush, I could probably bring in about 120 to 130 just with Grubhub alone. And then the rest on Uber Eats. But yeah. So everyone, if you could, hit the like button. Let's try and get 25 likes or more on this video. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel. Turn notifications on. All that good stuff. And uh, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, keep making that money. Keep getting that honey. And that's all I got to say, folks. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time right here on Paid to Drive. See you next time. Later. Peace. Subscribe. I said that a lot.